Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. iOS 17.2 Beta 3 is out. As you can see, the software update size is about 645 MBs depending upon from which iOS version you are coming. So for now, I'm using iOS 17.2 Beta 2. So that is why the size is about 645 MBs. If I was using any other version, it might be around 6 gigs. But for now, it is about 645 MBs. MB. Before beginning the video, let's see how you can download the beta version on your phone. So what you need to do is just go to settings, go to general and then go to software update. If you're already running a beta version, you will see the beta update without doing anything. But if you're not running a beta version, what you need to do is go to beta updates over here. Select the iOS 17 developer beta profile and after that you will see the update. So yeah, finally iOS 17.2 beta 3 is here. Now what's the new in the software? Definitely I will dig into the software and I will see what is up with the software. I will be using it for a couple of days to bring out the new things from it. But for now the highlighting feature of the iOS 17.2 is the journal app and then there is a special video recording in the pro model of the iphone 15 which is the highlighting feature of the ios 17.2 now let's talk about the release notes over here if i go to the feedback over here as you can see there are no release notes from the apple yet but 17.2 beta 2 release notes are already there opening this there were a couple of known issues couple of resolved issues but still there are many different bugs on the iOS 17.2 beta 2. I am hoping that Apple may fix those bugs in the beta 3 version. Now, if I go back to the settings, as you can see, Apple didn't mention anything about what is new with this update. It just says iOS beta gives you an early preview of upcoming apps, features and technologies. So there's nothing new. Apple is not sharing anything about what is in this version. I really don't like this approach of Apple. I hope Apple changes their this approach, but basically iOS 17.2 beta 3 is out. Now I want to talk about a very simple question. Should you update to the iOS 17.2 beta 3? Very first thing, if you're already running a beta version, yes, you can update. For example, I am running iOS 17.2 beta 2, so I will update. But if you are not running a beta version, like if you are on iOS 17.1 or iOS 17.1.1, please stay on those versions. Now there is a solid reason behind this. I'm using 17.2 beta 2 and there are so many bugs. I'm really annoyed with these bugs. I did a separate video about the iOS 17.2 bugs. You can check out that video on my channel. So because of those, I would say do not install the beta version yet. So I'm going to install the iOS 17.2 beta 3 because I'm already on a beta version. So I will test out the beta performance. I will test out the battery life and then I will share everything with you guys. So wait for my videos. That's it from this video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Do like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.